Welcome to our lecture online. Sometimes there's one additional step we need to do first before we can solve for a particular variable in a formula. So here with this particular case you can see we end up we, or we start up with some fractions and therefore step zero, the first step, then becomes eliminate fractions, decimals or parentheses just like we do for linear equations. In this case, we're going to try to solve this equation for Q. Now, this is a real equation. This equation is used to work with lenses in physics. F is the focal length, P is the object distance, and Q is the image distance. And so there's a relationship between the object distance, the image distance, and the focal length of a lens. That's what this equation is about. But all we need to do here is solve this particular equation for Q. So first, in order to eliminate the fractions, we're going to multiply both sides of the equation by the lowest common denominator, which is going to be a product of all three denominators. So on the left side, we're going to multiply that by fp times q. So f, p, and q. Oop, this should be a q here, q. So we're multiplying the left side by f times p times q. And of course, we must do exactly the same to the right side, multiply does f times p times q. On the left side, notice that the f will cancel out the f and we're left with a p times q equals. The first term, notice that the p's will cancel out and we're left with f times q. And on the last term here, notice that the q's will cancel out and we end up with an f times p. Since we're solving this formula for q, Notice this term has q, which is on the left side. A second term has a q in it, which is on the right side. And this one does not have a q. So we're going to move this term to the left side to follow step number two. Step number two says move all the variables or all the terms with q to the left side and all the other terms to the right side or flip the equation around. Flipping the equation is not going to help us. We're simply going to move the term. So end up with p times q minus, because when this goes to the left side it becomes a negative, f times q is equal to what remains on the right side, f times p. The next step is we're going to factor out a q on the left side, because that's what they tell us to do. If there's more than one term, factor out a q. So we end up with q times p minus f is equal to f times p on the right side, and finally, since this is the factor of q, they tell us divide both sides of the equation by the factor of q. So divide the left side by p minus f and divide the right side by p minus f. So when that cancels out, we end up with q on the left side is equal to f times p divided by p minus f. And this is then the very same formula as we had over here, except it is now solved for Q. So everything is in terms of F and P, and Q equals F times P divided by P minus F. And that's how we isolate a single variable out of an equation like that, or a formula like that. That is how it's done.